Hi, I'm Felice from HubSpot, and today I'm going to show you how to run a cold call. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. Post any questions or suggestions you have in the comments below. Let's get started. At HubSpot, we've spent over 10 years demonstrating the power of inbound to improve lead generation and customer acquisition. But unfortunately, the reality is that many salespeople don't have enough inbound leads to fill their pipeline and hit their numbers. Sometimes an outreach phone call feels like your only option. Fortunately, there's still a way to make a prospecting phone call more personable and helpful. In this video, we're going to tell you exactly how to make a cold call and make sure you're delighting your prospects. First though, let's discuss why traditional cold calling is a bad idea. Traditional cold calling is usually a negative experience for prospects, undermines your status as a trusted advisor, and can even have a negative impact on your brand. It's also a terrible experience for your salespeople. How many of your employees actually enjoy getting hung up on all day? Plus, according to the Harvard Business Review, cold calling is ineffective 90% of the time. However, if you need to make an outreach call, there are effective strategies you can implement to make sure you're more successful and turn cold calls into warm ones. First, you wanna make the prospect feel like you did your research. This call is about them and their needs, not about you needing to make a sale. For instance, you might say, Hi Jim, my name is Tom, and I help Boston area financial services companies like yours increase rep productivity by up to 45%. Alternatively, you could say, I work with sales managers in hospitality with five to eight reps on their team. My customers are typically looking to increase rep productivity. Does that sound like you? Once they say yes to this question, which they will because you've done your homework, say, tell me about that. When they start talking, practice active listening. Take notes of their pain points and objectives so you can begin your pitch by saying, so what I'm hearing is, when you've correctly identified their pain points, quickly transition by asking your prospect when they're free for a discovery call. If your prospect throws out a few times, weeks, or months in the future, respond with, how about tomorrow? Often you'll be able to get something on the calendar sooner than prospects initially suggest. Ultimately, make your outreach call an opportunity to learn about a prospect's company, challenges, and goals. This will show the prospect you truly care about what they're saying and warm them up to the idea that your product might be the real solution to their needs. Looking for even more help with your sales strategy? Click the link in the description below to learn more. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below.